Hi everyone, welcome to today's topic, Geometric Progression. Given any progression, if the ratio of two consecutive terms is fixed, it's called a geometric progression. Or in other words, whenever the ratio of consecutive terms is the same, or you can say it's constant, we call it a geometric progression. It's written in short as GP. This fixed ratio of two consecutive terms we were talking about is called the common ratio and it's denoted by the small letter R. Now, how do we represent a geometric progression? If we are given a term A to start with, then our progression is A A R a r square a r to the power n minus 1 goes on. Now, this is called a geometric progression. Here, a is the first term and r the common ratio. You see, how do we get this geometric progression? Start with the first term a. Multiply that by r, you get the second term a r. Multiply the second term by r, you get the third term a r square. So, whenever the previous term is multiplied by the common ratio, we get the next term. Here we say the nth term is a to the power r minus 1. Now, how do we get that? You see, the first term is a. There is no r, so we write r to the power 0. Second term is a r to the power 1. Third term is a r to the power 2. Now we go on like this. When it's the first term, power of r is 1 less than 1 which is 0. When it is the second term, power of r is 1 less than 2. So, we have r to the power 1. When it is the third term, we have the power of r as 3 minus 1. So, it is 2. Now, which means that our nth term will be a r to the power 1 less than n which means n minus 1. So, the nth term of a GP is given by a r to the power n minus 1. Let's come to some examples. We are given some progression 2, 4, 8, 16, it goes on. Let's see whether it's a GP or not. Divide the second term by the first term, you get 2. Divide the third term by the second term, you get 2. Divide the fourth term by the third term, you get 2. You see here, the ratio of consecutive terms is 2 all over. R is nothing but 2. Hence, it's a GP. A geometric progression. Come to the second example. Here we'll take the ratio of 1 by 6 and 1 by 2. This is nothing but 1 by 3. Take the ratio of 1 upon 18 and 1 by 6. This is also 1 by 3. You will see it will be the same all over r value here is 1 by 3. It's a geometric progression just because the ratio of consecutive terms was same all over. Now what is a geometric series? If we add all the terms of the progression, we get a geometric series. If the number of terms is finite, it's called a finite geometric series. If the number of terms of a geometric series are infinite, it's called an infinite geometric series.
How do we find the sum of n terms of a geometric progression or a geometric series? Now, you know that r is a common ratio. So, it can be less than 1, it can be greater than 1. First of all, we denote the sum of n terms by Sn. Whenever r value is less than 1, the sum Sn is a 1 minus r to the power n upon 1 minus r. Remember, as r is less than 1, we take 1 minus r to the power n. And denominator has 1 minus r. Whenever r value is greater than 1, the sum is a. Now it will be r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. What is the sum then of an infinite geometric progression? We denote that by s infinity. And here, sum can only be found when my r value is less than 1. So when r is less than 1, the sum of an infinite gp is a upon 1 minus r. The first example is from Big Nikaya, the Buddhist scriptures. This question has been taken from the book Dialogues of Buddha by T. W. Rice Davids. The question says, find the 10th term of a GP, 10, 20, 40, it goes on, and find the sum of first 15 terms. What do we have here? Our A value is 10. R value is nothing but 20 by 10, which is 2. We are asked to find the 10th term. We will use the formula for nth term, a n is equal to a r to the power n minus 1. Substitute the values. a 10 will be a which is 10 multiplied by r which is 2 to the power 10 minus 1. This when you simplify comes out to be 5 1 2 0. So you have a 10 as 5, 1, 2, 0. The second part says find the sum of first 15 terms. Now you had two formulas for sum of n terms. Here you see r value is for us, greater than 1. We are given r as 2. So, we use this formula a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. So, for us, s 15 will be nothing but a r to the power 15 minus 1 upon r minus 1. Now, when you substitute the values of a and r, we get 10, 2 to the power 15 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1. This on simplifying gives us 3, 2, 7, 6, 7, 0. So, the sum of 15 terms comes out to be this. The second question is from Kalp Sutra of Bhadrabahu dated 350 BC. The question is, if the sum of certain terms of a geometric series 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 16383, find the number of terms. It also asks which term is 8192. Let us see what we are given. We are given a value to be 1 and our r value is 2. You can see 2 upon 1 is 2, 4 upon 2 is 2. Now, as r is greater than 1, we use the formula Sn is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 
upon r minus 1. Substitute, we are given the sum of n terms is 1, 6, 3, 8, 3. A value for us is 1. R value is 2 to the power n. This n has to be found. The number of terms upon 2 minus 1. Now, when we simplify, we'll get 1, 6, 3, 8, 3 is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 or we get 1 6 3 8 4 is equal to 2 to the power n. Write the left hand side in powers of 2. You will see this is nothing but 2 to the power 14 equated to 2 to the power n. This will give us n value is 14. Now that's our answer. n is 14. So the sum of first 14 terms of this GP is 16383. Now let's come to the second part. This was a first part. In the second part, we are asked to find which term is 8192. For that, we will use the formula of nth term a r to the power n minus 1. We are given the nth term 8192. A value is 1, r is 2 to the power n minus 1. 8192 is nothing but 2 to the power 13. That's equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. Equate, we get 13 is equal to n minus 1 or n comes out to be 14. So the 14th term of the GP is 8, 1, 9, 2. That's the second answer. Let's come to the third example. Find the sum of five terms of a GP 1 by 3, 2 by 9, 4 by 27 goes on. We have a value as 1 by 3 and what is our R? R is 2 by 9 divided by 1 by 3. This gives us R value as 2 by 3. Now, you see that R is less than 1. So, what is a sum? Which formula are we using? S5 is a 1 minus r to the power 5 because we have to find the sum of 5 terms divided by 1 minus r. Substitute all the values. A is 1 by 3, 1 minus r which is 2 by 3 to the power 5. So we are raising both to the power 5 divided by 1 minus 2 by 3. So when we simplify, we will get the answer as 211 upon 243. This is the sum of the first five terms of this GP. Let's come to the fourth question. If in a GP, third term is 1 by 6, fifth term is 1 by 24, find the first term, the common ratio, and write the GP. So what are we given? We are given 
a3 is 1 by 6 and a5 is 1 by 24. We do not know what a is and we do not know what r is. So, what will we do? We'll use the formula a n is equal to a r to the power n minus 1. a3 for us is 1 by 6 which is a r to the power 3 minus 1. Now this gives us a r square is 1 by 6. This is 1. A5 is given to be 1 by 24. Using the formula, we get A r to the power 5 minus 1, which implies A r to the power 4 is 1 by 24. This is 2. Now, we have two equations and two unknowns. Let's divide. So, if we divide 2 by 1, what will we get? We'll get a r to the power 4 upon a r square is 1 upon 24 divided by 1 by 6. Now this gives us as a and a will cancel. Here you'll get r square. This implies r square is equal to 1 by 4. Now what we get is r is equal to r is equal to plus minus 1 by 2. So we have two cases. Case 1, let's take r to be half. Substitute r is equal to half in 1 or 2. So substitute in 1, we'll get a value as 2 by 3. So now the progression which we will get is 2 by 3. Our value is half. So the next term is 1 by 3. Multiply again by half as r is half. We get 1 by 6. Multiply by half 1 by 12. This is the progression which we get when our r value is half. Take the second case. Now, when r value is minus half progression as 2 by 3, A will remain as it is, multiply by minus half, so you will get minus 1 by 3 as the second term, multiply again by minus half, you get 1 by 6, multiply by minus half, you get minus 1 by 12 and the progression goes on. So, the R is equal to minus half gives us the geometric progression. 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3, 1 by 6 minus 1 by 12. So you get two geometric progressions where you will see the fifth term will be 1 by 24 and the third term you have seen in both the cases is 1 by 6. If you write the fifth term, multiply by half, you'll get 1 upon 24 here. Multiply by minus half, you will get 
the next term is 1 by 24. So fifth term you can see it's confirmed is 1 by 24. The fifth question is from Panchavim Sabramana. The question is, if the sum of first three terms of a GP is 84 and the product is 13824, find the GP. Let us start by taking the first three terms to be A by R, A and A R. Now you see here, our first term is A by R. First term is A by R. And the common ratio ratio is R. So we are given the sum that is A by R plus A plus A R is equal to 84 and we will call it 1. The product A by R into A into A R is given to be 1 3 8 2 4. Let's call it 2. From 2 we get you see R and R will cancel we will get a by R, A into A, R, R and R cancels, we get 1, 3, 8, 2, 4, A cube is equal to 1, 3, 8, 2, 4. This gives us A value as 24. Now, come to 1. So, from 1, you have a quadratic, pull the A out, you will get A 1 by R plus 1 plus R is equal to 84. Substitute the value of A, so you get 24, 1 by R plus 1 plus R is equal to 84. Now this will give us a quadratic. 2R square minus 5R plus 2 is equal to 0. This will give us two values of R. So this implies on solving R is equal to 2 and r is equal to half. So you have a as 24 and r as 2 and half. Case 1. a is 24, r is 2. So what will be the first three terms? a by r, a and a r will be Twelve, twenty-four. Then again, multiply by two. Forty-eight. It goes on. So you have got the geometric progression when my a value is twenty-four and r is two. Come to the Second case. In the second case, A is 24, R is half. So what will be the first three terms? A by R, A and A, R will be 48. 24, 12, again divide 6. So this is the GP which we will get when our R value is half.
The sixth question. In a family tree, a person has two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents and this is how it goes on. How many people have been there in his ten generations? Now you see, if we write, it's a GP. Two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents. Now, here the first term is A, R, the common ratio is 2. Next term will be 16. 16 into 2, 32. That is how the GP goes on. We have to find how many people have been there in his 10 generations, which means we need to find S10. We are given A to be 2. We are given R value as 2 and we need to find S10. So S10 as R is greater than 1, we'll use the formula S10. S10 is equal to A R to the power N minus 1 upon R minus 1. Substitute the values. We have 2, 2 to the power 10 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1. Now, when we simplify, this comes out to be 2, 0, 4, 6. So, the sum of 10 generations is nothing but 2046. Let's come to the last question. Find the sum of the infinite terms of the GP 1 by 3, 2 by 9, 4 by 27, going up to infinity. This is question number 3, which we have done earlier. Now you can see A value is 1 by 3, R is 2 by 3, the common ratio. And we have to find the sum of infinite terms. So, what formula are we going to use? A upon 1 minus R. We can only use it when my R value is less than 1. You can see here R is 2 by 3 which is less than 1. So, we can use this formula. What will be S infinity for us? It would be 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus 2 by 3. You see here this comes out to be 1. So the sum of infinite terms is 1. Remember guys if r is greater than 1 we cannot use this formula. In that case the series will diverge. Thank you for watching. Uh, next topic is harmonic series. And for all other topics and for practice problems, you can check my website, Prof. Preeti Bajpay.com. Go to courses. Under courses, you'll find remedial. You'll find all the topics there, all practice exercises there. Once again, thanks for watching.